Maranatha, page 201, A View of the Shaking, July 12th. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken, surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. Ezekiel 38, verse 19. I saw some with strong faith and agonizing cries, pleading with God. Their countenances were pale and marked with deep anxiety. I saw some with strong faith and agonizing cries pleading with God. Their countenances were pale and marked with deep anxiety expressive of their internal struggle. Firmness and great earnestness was expressed in their countenances. Large drops of perspiration fell from their foreheads. Evil angels crowded around, pressing darkness upon them to shut out Jesus from their view that their eyes might be drawn to the darkness that surrounded them. And thus they be led to distrust God and murmur against Him. Their only safety was in keeping their eyes directed upward. Angels of God had charge over His people, and as the poisonous atmosphere of evil angels was pressed around these anxious ones, the heavenly angels were continually wafting their wings over them to scatter the thick darkness. As the praying ones continued their earnest cries, at time a ray of light from Jesus came to them to encourage their hearts and light up their countenances. Some I saw did not participate in this work of agonizing and pleading. They seemed indifferent and careless. The angels of God went to the aid of the earnest praying ones, but His angels left those who made no effect to help themselves, and I lost sight of them. I asked the meaning of the shaking. I had seen and was shown that it would be caused by the straight testimony called forth by the counsel of the true witness of the Laodiceans. My attention was then turned to the company I had seen who were mightily shaken. The company of guardian angels round them had been doubled and they were clothed with an armor from their head to their feet. I heard those clothed with the armor speak forth the truth with great power. It had effect. I asked what had made this great change. An angel answered, It is the latter rain, the refreshing from the presence of the Lord, the loud cry of the third angel.